Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to discuss an interesting social phenomenon. Why is it becoming harder for men to date women nowadays? Now, before we dive in, I want to make it clear that dating dynamics are complex and multifaceted. This video will examine some high-level social and cultural factors that may be making traditional dating more challenging for men. But of course there are exceptions and nuances to every situation. My goal here is not to complain or assign blame, but rather to analyze some interesting societal shifts through the lens of dating. With that said, let's start with one huge game changer, online dating. Dating apps like Tinder, Bumble, and Occupid have absolutely transformed the dating landscape in the last 10 years. Some might argue they've made dating easier by expanding options and availability. But in many ways, dating apps have made the process more difficult for men specifically. For one, it's created a massive imbalance in the supply and demand equation. On most mainstream dating apps, the male to female ratio is about three or four to one. All that competition lowers men's chances of standing out and connecting. Not to mention most women on dating apps get absolutely bombarded with messages and options, which again forces men to be extra creative and strategic with their outreach. Plus, dating app algorithms can work against men. Sites like Tinder rank profiles based on a desirability score that factors in things like profile views and rights wipes. The highest scored profiles get shown to more potential matches. As we all know, women tend to be more selective in online dating, which means the top 10 or 20% of men often get most of the attention. The rest risk getting lost in the shuffle. And this doesn't even account for phenomena like ghosting and breadcrumbing that both men and women have to deal with online. Point being, dating apps have created a fierce competition that can be discouraging for guys relying on them. Next up, Let's talk about shifting courtship norms. Traditional dating rituals like a man asking a woman out, planning creative dates, and paying for things have eroded a bit over the years. Those old gender roles don't conform as well to modern sensibilities around equality. Many women now prefer a more casual approach to dating and courtship. Some studies show over 60% of women today do the asking out especially with men they meet online. Splitting the bill early on is more common too. This puts the onus on both people to drive the connection forward rather than falling into traditional gender dynamics. For men who grew up expecting to lead romantic pursuits or who enjoy old school courtship rituals, these changes can make navigating dating unclear. There's more uncertainty over who makes the first move, who pays early on, how quickly to get physical, and so forth. This new ambiguity can be tough to adapt to. Expanding further on shifting norms, there's an argument that hookup culture is making long-term dating more difficult. With the rise of apps like Tinder that facilitate casual sex, some believe courtship is dying altogether. The logic is, if sex is readily available outside of dating, why spend time and money formally dating at all? For guys looking for meaningful relationships and not just hookups, this dynamic means there's more upfront uncertainty over a woman's romantic intentions and interests. He might have to put in a lot more time to prove he's genuinely interested before getting a real shot. Related to hookup culture, Another challenge for men today is navigating an environment with blurred lines around consent. Navigating issues like the hash the Matoo movement and cancel culture create a mindset of walking on eggshells for some men when it comes to dating. They don't want to be inappropriate or make an unwanted advance, but also struggle to project confidence because of the risks involved. This can lead to overthinking, hesitation, and passivity which hurts their chances of connecting with women. Regardless of your opinions on modern dating culture, most would agree the rule book is more complicated now which adds challenges. Shifting gears, 
Let's talk about how economics and labor force participation impact dating. As more women join the workforce and close wage gaps, they are less financially dependent on men overall. Some argue this reduces incentives for women to date and enter serious relationships, especially since women still shoulder disproportionate burdens when it comes to unpaid labor like child care and housework. When you combine financial independence with added domestic burdens, some women are more hesitant to couple off today. They don't want or need the trade-off that comes with a traditional breadwinner homemaker dynamic. This widespread female sentiment can make dating harder for men since they have less leverage historically tied to being providers or protectors. Expanding on finances, money stressors in general are making traditional dating tougher. With flat wages and insane housing costs, today's young people have less disposable income to spend on dating. Record high student debt also delays marriage and serious relationships as people get a foothold financially. When you're broke and battling inflation, shelling out for fancy dinner dates is pretty low on the priority list. Some even argue today's gig economy has made people more transient and unwilling to settle down in general. There are also theories around how female income changes make preferences. As more women earn higher salaries, some studies show they place more emphasis on a man's looks, status, and charisma over earning potential or resources. Since those innate traits are in shorter supply than financial stability, it narrows the pool of eligible male partners, especially for guys who relied on being breadwinners to bolster their desirability. To wrap up, one more societal shift making dating harder for men is female empowerment. The broader awareness and encouragement women now get to advocate for their needs and desires extends to dating as well. More women see themselves as equals to men rather than subordinates, which changes the power dynamic. Some men struggle adjusting to stronger, more assertive women dictating relationship terms. There's conflict around old-school masculine ideals versus modern female empowerment. Navigating changes is tricky, like who's in charge or who should call the shots. If a guy refuses to adapt, he'll have a much harder time since mindsets on gender roles are shifting culturally. So in summary, we've looked at several factors that may be contributing to today's challenging dating landscape for men. The rise of online dating and hookup culture, blurring of traditional gender roles and courtship rituals, financial and labor force changes, and female empowerment. Again, these are broad societal trends and every person's situation is unique. Dating can still thrive when people are open-minded, communicative, and willing to challenge outdated assumptions. But the baseline social conditions to feel like they've made romance and courtship more complicated for heterosexual men lately based on all the data and anecdotes out there. As usual, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this topic. Do you agree? Disagree? Have any other theories for why dating seems harder now? Let's discuss in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, Please like and subscribe for more content analyzing our evolving social world. Thanks so much for watching.